Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Washing Pole. Uh, one of the katanas that I actually use from time to time on my dexterity and quality builds. But I realized that I haven't uploaded many of the katanas for the Weapon Showcase. So I figured we'd move on to the Washing Pole next. Uh, the Washing Pole is the longest katana in the game. And to balance that, it actually doesn't get the light attack true combo that almost every other weapon in the game gets. You may get lucky though, and people won't roll spam out of the first star one, because they'll expect they'll get stunned for the second one. So I have had that happen uh, from time to time, but it is best to either use the R1, slow it down for the second swing, you might roll catch them, or just use one uh, and move forward to roll catch with the second follow-up. That would probably be the most efficient way to use light attacks. Um, it's running attack is obviously its bread and butter. It's so long range, comes up pretty quick, is a great punish if people panic roll while you run towards them. You can catch them at the end of their roll with that. It's weapon arts I love. You can parry with it. Uh, it has a really long range slash forward like the Uchi Katana. But it is longer range because it is the washing pole. Um, the rolling attack is even pretty good. Katanas have a decent rolling attack. As long as you don't use them constantly, you probably won't get parried. And again, great range for that. The R2s. I don't use the R2s on this weapon too much. I tend to like thrust R2s on weapons, and this one's a little bit easier to dodge, especially since the R1 walks forward just as well as the R2. Um, but you can mix it up, I guess, if you're only using light attacks to try and roll catch. Run up to them, try an R2, roll catch. But with this weapon, the light, the running attack, the light attack, and I'd say the weapon art slash are probably your go-tos. Um, as for the build that I'm using it on, you can use it on a quality build, and it'll get a little bit less damage, but you will be a tankier build overall because you have strength investment. I decided to go with the dexterity. I went 70 dex just to get some extra DPS out of it. Uh, 443 is the AR unbuffed. You can buff it with the lightning bundle. Jumps up to like 563. It's pretty good. Um, and this is the rest of my build. This is the armor set I've been wearing for quite some time. I just like the fashion on it. And yeah, I just have a regen Cestus in my offhand and a heavy one on my right. And that's, that's really all there is to it for the gear. Other than the rings, we have the prisoner's chain I wear on every game or every build. Gives you 5 Endurance, Vigor, and Vitality. Uh, then the Ring of Favor. Percent boost to health, stamina, maximum equip load. Life Ring is a health boost. And then your last ring is really up to you. I start with Lord Shield, just for the bonus absorption before the first hit. And then I'll, I'll probably swap to like Hornet Ring or Ring or Sun Princess Ring if I want to regen. But yeah, let's just jump into the battles then. Alright, jumping into the first match with the Washing Pole. Let's see. My favorite arena. Alright, what do we got? Hello there, sir. Straight sword, Jun! Hello, Jun! Alright, I got a washing pole. You got a straight sword. But what straight sword do you actually have? See, as you can notice, the R1 stun is very short on this weapon. He did not need to take that second hit, but I think he just assumed he's gonna take it. It's like a lot of people don't know this weapon doesn't get that follow up light attack. So they all rush in. And then just get, if they get hit, they get hit. Oh, oh, I was going to swap my sword. <laughs> but we're on a weapon showcase. No swapping. Ooh. The weapon art wake up is pretty good. Damn. Fun fight. Also, I try, I'm trying this setting on my uh, GPU where I can sharpen the game. I wonder if it looks better in recordings. <laughs> I'm going to check that. Moving on to round two. Oh my god, it's Noob Slayer. Well, oh, but it's not. It's Prod! Anytime I see an Artorias helm, I just think of Prod. I don't know why. Hello, Varen. How are you, man? Alright, so you got a one-handed split leaf. That's interesting. That's kind of very different. Eesh. <laughs> Alright, well. Maybe we can do a little bit of fishing with this. Ah, oh, you missed me! Damn, dude. That's unfortunate. If he would have did a normal follow-up, like a lot of people do from running attacks, I think he would have got the parry. Bonk. Bonk. Man, the roll catch on this is great if they do the panic roll while you're in the stance. You just gotta time it for when they're coming out of the next roll. Fun fight, though. Aww, oh, is it... Oh no, it's not the Artorias again. Hello there, man. How are you? I shall exclaim with my, my gesture for you, Sebastian. Alright, let's have a good old-fashioned fight. It's been a lot of shield users. <laughs> the Artorias, the first guy, the second straight sword of the day. Running attack! 
At least it gets... Well, I think it's my lightning that's giving it piercing damage on the shield, to be honest. Spacing! <laughs> Next time I go for a, a trade like that, I'll try and... Mm, probably parry him out of it if he tries to R1 from the hit stun. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta R1, man. It does its job. Fun fight, Sebastian. <laughs> He was a little bit, like, too defensive, you know? He was only trying to whiff punish, which is a little hard to do against a really long range weapon like this. He had to be a little bit more aggressive. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a guess at what I'm fighting. Someone with a shield. Something shield-based. That seems to be the theme today. Oh! Lothric long spear. That's different. That'll be actually very different against this weapon. Oh, well, I happened to get the initial backstab. That's, that's, you know. Oh, man. That was just a very effective fight. <laughs> I am so sorry, Mr. Grimm. I enjoyed the battle, though. Although we didn't get to see much action from the Lothric Longspear. The running attack is really its not its best move. As you can see, I can punish it quick with a backstab. Or parry it, really. Oh, we got this arena again. Maybe we'll get Grimm twice. You can see more out of that spear, maybe. Oh, no. A curved greatsword user, Pi. Hello, Pi. How are you? All right, we'll bundle our weapons. I do enjoy the old wolf curved greatsword, though, honestly. It is very good. Cha! 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 Weapon art versus weapon art. Oh, you know, I respect it. You thought I was going to go for the parry. You know, in all honesty, I was really thinking about it in that stance. I was thinking about it. <laughs> so, I can't exactly, you know, blame you. Running attack! A halberd. That's different. Oh, almost got some bum. I like this guy. You know, he's spacing well. This weapon is just very long range. Oh, he could have backstabbed that. Oh, I was going to say, he could get the crit here. Because I was dumb and I kept my guard up. Not the best R2, though, honestly. It's okay. It has a really unique R2 that I have to respect on that glaive. All right, I got to watch our range a little bit here. Oh, right in between the hyper armor frames. Oh, no. I'm coming, Pi. <laughs> I don't want to backstab him. Cool. Fun fight, though. I enjoyed our fight a lot, Pi. Very unique. It was a good weapon change. The halberd was a good mix-up from the curved greatsword. <laughs> Lothric Knight cosplay, but instead a buckler and a, a stock? Hello, man. Whoa. Whoa. Rude. Very rude, so fly. What the fuck? <laughs> Just... What? <laughs> I love how I knew his first move was gonna be a back or a parry attempt. That's amazing. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> this guy's funny. I think he did that into annoying people into trying to attack his buckler parry. Fun fight. By the way, we're getting pretty good at that kick wake up. And then you get, you know, the, the off balance damage from when they're they're kicked. It does, it does even more damage than usual. It's almost like counter damage, I think. Hmm. Oh, we seem to be getting this area quite a bit today. I wonder if we're gonna get Mr. Target Shield throwing knife to 2.0. Hello, oh no, we got June. Hello, June. I feel like I feel like we fought earlier, Jim. But you had a different weapon. Claymore is obviously a, a beautiful choice. <laughs> no kick wake up this time. I forget what you were using in the earlier fight, Jim. <laughs> oh, I was actually thinking I might get the backstab there. Oh, two in a row. Our connection's really good, man. 
Normally I can only strafe like a backstab like that on a claymore from like us stunning each other or like perfect timing, but that one was pretty good. Good fight, June. Oh my god, the great wooden hammer. I have to appreciate this guy. The worker. Full on worker. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, buddy. Let's go. Reginald! Reginald Thornbottom, the third. <laughs> Wait, is he light rolling with that? We are. <laughs> Smack! I like you so far, though, Reginald. Light rolling with that thing is not normal. <laughs> I love our, our attempts at fishing here. Oh, fun fight, man. I appreciate his backstab attempts, too. Especially with the wooden hammer. <laughs> Alright, moving into the final battle. We have... Oh, it's the worker again. Let's go. <laughs> How are we, Reginald? Reginald Thornbottom. Alright, buddy. Me and you, man. Okay. We need to land some fun things with him, because he was actually cool. Oh! That was cool. That was a fun thing to land. <laughs> Woo! Ah, ah. Oh, fun fight though, Reginald. I, I can appreciate cosplays, you know? We've been happening upon some in these Weapon Showcase series, and I, I appreciate the people in the arena with the cosplays. <laughs> Alright, now we get to do our invasion. Oh, and we get a cool battle area, actually. I love this area. Most people don't like demon runes, but I don't know. I do. Um. Okay. They're actually not quite in the water area yet. Yolo. Hello, Yolo. All right. Um. I kind of feel bad because you're alone, and you're behind a shield. Double kick. Oh, right in the doorway. Yolo, you're making me fight in the doorway. Dishonest. This is just like another arena duel. Kick! Kick! R1. <laughs> Alright. I hope he heals so we can try some fun things. Wah! Yes, heal it up YOLO. Bum. Oh, I missed. Uh, oh, I'm not allowed to swap! <laughs> this is okay, it's okay. <laughs> Kia! Kia! Yeah, use the two-handed curve sword, it's even better. It's even better. I want to bait him into another parry. Oh, such a cool weapon art. That weapon will always be a fun one. <laughs> no, 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 YOLO, YOLO. YOLO, you gotta heal, okay? You gotta heal for me, YOLO. One more heal. One more heal, baby. You can, you can continue that weapon art. <laughs> Why is that so weak, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? That is, like, no damage. <laughs> what the hell? This man hasn't upgraded his weapon. YOLO, what the hell? Ah, I'll give you embers, man. You're so kind. You can take the weapon. It's a gift. It's a gift. Look. It's a gift. Look. Gift. Look at the gift. Look. Look. The gift. Did you, did you not see the ground? Aww. Well, alright. I'll leave you with that. You choose whether you want it or not. <laughs> alright. Some kindness, you know. Never hurts. Alrighty then. Those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the washing pole. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I do use this weapon. It's kind of like one of my normal weapons, so it's not like it's something super unique, but we do have to go through all the weapons. So yeah, comment other ones you'd like to see below. I'm sure there's some I'm still not thinking of. There are katanas that I haven't used as well. Maybe I can use more katanas as well. And here's the build for you guys again. I like to I like to recap the end of my showcases with the build that I was using. You can use like a, a 40 strength, 40 dexterity build, get similar damage and be tankier, or go like a little bit more damage on the 70 dex like I did. Um, yeah. 
That's really it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase, and I will see you guys all for the next weapon. Good night. <laughs>